in this video we're going to have a look at replying to chats to conversations in a channel so it's slightly different you need to think about different things when you're in a channel than when you're in a chat conversation so i'm in teams i'm in the ds development services team and i'm in the articles channel and there's a couple of conversation threads there so just be careful when you are replying to a conversation that you don't come down to the bottom and click on start a new conversation. It may look like this with a bar, but there is a new button as well coming that says start a conversation. So that will create something brand new, but if you're replying to something that's already been said, so this one here where I asked someone, can you give me your thoughts on the meeting? If I want to reply back to that comment, then I'm going to click on reply and you'll see a box has popped up below. So I'm just going to do a bit of a chaser. Pop in my information. Again, I can format, I can use my format tools. I can use any of the other tools, attach a document, use my smileys and my gifs and my stickers all sorts of great bits of functionality there but when i click enter or i click on the paper airplane or stealth air aircraft like i think it looks like it's just going to come as a reply within that conversation so rather than starting a whole new one i've replied to a thread within that channel and this is what's really great about having teams and channels if you're having lots of conversation rather than individual chats or group chats because we can have different conversations going on at the same time and it's not as messy, it's all contained in one pot for each conversation that's going on. So top tip there, always reply when you're replying to a message. If you want to start a brand new conversation, Fred, come down to the bottom and click in the bar to start a new conversation or click on the new button when it appears on your Microsoft Teams.